This work presents degradation resilient LIDAR radar inertial odometry, a method to overcome the existing challenges for LIDAR inertial and radar inertial odometry through sensor fusion. The method maintains a factor graph containing pre integrated IMU factors, radar based velocity factors, and LIDAR based line and plane feature factors. The factors are smoothed over a sliding window to produce estimates of pose, linear velocity, and IMU biases. All sensors are synchronized using a custom built synchronization module. Next, we'll go through a step by step breakdown of how sensor measurements are handled. Firstly, IMU measurements are stored in a buffer on arrival for easy access. Then, upon receiving a new radar point cloud measurement, a new state consisting of the IMU pose, linear velocity, and biases is created and connected to the graph using a pre-integrated IMU factor. Linear velocity is then estimated from the radar point cloud's Doppler velocity measurements, using RANSAC for outlier rejection. This velocity is used to create a velocity factor, which is then added to the created state. On the arrival of a LiDAR measurement, the point cloud is first de-skewed, using the IMU measurements, to the timestamp of the radar measurement contained in its collection period. The measurement is then used to formulate line and plane factors using the globally maintained map, which are then added to the state. We present the evaluation of the method in two environments, namely a 500 meter self-similar bicycle tunnel and a university corridor filled with dense fog. Data from these environments was collected using a small aerial robot integrating an Auster OS0128 LiDAR, a TI IWR6843 AOP radar, and a VectorNav VN100 IMU. In the latter two cases, LiDAR data present degeneracies due to geometric similarity and signal loss or increased noise respectively. The bicycle tunnel presents a geometrically self-similar environment within a few meters from the takeoff location of the robot. Due to this, there exists no features informing the estimator along the direction of the tunnel. Note that here LIO refers to the proposed method without any radar-derived factors, and RIO refers to the proposed method without any LIDAR-derived factors. The effect of this degradation is clear as LIO slides backwards, despite the robot only moving forwards, due to degeneracy. Fusion with radar saves this estimate, and the addition of the degraded LIDAR even improves the accuracy with respect to the radar inertial version, as the feature factors enable us to include information from the LIDAR along the non-affected axes. Here we present a flight in a university corridor environment which has been filled with high-density fog. This functions as an obscurant which heavily reduces the quality of the LIDAR measurement. This degradation is visible in the lower right corner in the raw point cloud. Note the stark differences between the point cloud measurements before and after entering the fog. The results of this test are aligned with the conclusions of the previous. Again, these degraded conditions render the LiDAR inertial version ill-conditioned and thus not applicable for odometry, where fusion with the radar enables a usable and accurate estimate. Note, as with the previous dataset, adding LiDAR increases accuracy compared to radar inertial, despite its poor data quality.